radicalization is really um, uh, a big deal in our in, in our in our community uh, back in the UK. Uh, so the techniques, the ideas, the um, the, um, the communications that I had with the participants enriched my knowledge into the subject. And three areas were really the most uh, interesting. Uh, really highlighted I, I can highlight from this uh, during our stay in here first of all is the connectivity between the participants the environment respect to each other and the collaboration and learning from each other was really amazing um, the level of the of the of the training and the materials provided was really on the top quality the outcome of, at the end of the of the of the, of the training was really um, a, how you call um, a useful tool that we can go back to everybody uh, to, to to our communities and apply in, into our uh, everyday life the best approach to uh, preventing radicalization with young people uh, for me it's like the cultural diversity because from that we can learn that uh, every uh, pe every human has a different culture, uh, different thoughts but at the end of the day we are, have a one similar thing and that is that we are being human. I thank very much the trainers, especially Vasco and Ronald, they were very clear and very understanding and the topic they chose it was very fantastic because now I have skills, more knowledge, how to prevent uh, any violence or radicalization or discri discrimination and everything. And that is a very good topic because it is now we live in that <coughs> in that world of discriminating discrimination and. And, and everything starts with youth. And what I like the most about this project is uh, that our organizer was able to bring people from different countries, different backgrounds, different cultures. And it's really nice to talk about such a topic with people who have a different point of view, but are still willing to share and uh, listen to your thoughts. And I think that's what made the project much more personal because when you're not just reading some theoretical information in the book, but you're actually reading personal stories from people that live through this. It's, uh, I think, uh, much more, it touches you much more. I love going through Erasmus Plus projects because I feel that uh, you cannot get experiences like uh, those projects offer you almost anywhere else. I think uh, Erasmus projects always challenge you uh, to take a step out of your own uh, comfort zone of your own life and uh, you get to experience magical moments with people you would never have met uh, any otherwise and always the topics bring out something new uh, that you would like to do in your own future or even something new to learn and you learn language you learn how to empathize you, lo you learn any magical experience you could imagine so come to Erasmus Plus.